Come on, we goes. Well, you don't want to be late. Well, that's it now. She's gone. Why, she's gone. I know it's one thing. It was some going on to try to get her to go this morning. She had to sit down and have a full-on breakfast, right? And I had to make it for her, of course. So she woofed that down into her. And then she was putting around thinking, oh, did I forget this? Did I forget that? I said, well, that's what you get for leaving your pack until the last minute. I said, you should already have this done. So here I had to beat around now 4.30 this morning and help her with it. Then we had to get going. Of course, it takes about 50 minutes to get to the airport, right? And she was frightening at it the whole time. I'm going to miss me plane. I looked at her and I said, listen here, my darling. There's going to be no missing the planes here to me. I don't care if I got to get you on a train and send you back. You ain't missing no plane. Oh, yes, a bag of nerves she was, right? But I kept her calm, right? Because I said, it's not going to happen. So we got to the airport, then she wanted me to go in with her because I was just going to drop her off at the door, right? I went up to the wicket, and then um, she had to pull out her cards and everything and show Mrs. And then she was like, yeah, she said, I don't know where I'm seated on the plane or nothing. And I said, well, we picked your seats for you last night, by." And then I said to her, I said, well, when you get your ticket or your pass or whatever, go on down that way now and go through security. She wanted me to go down there, whatever for God's sakes. So then I got her down to the security, and I seen her go in through the security. So at least I know that she never missed that. She wanted to give me a big old hug, right, for thanking me for having her there for three weeks. Then she said to me, you know what? I can't wait to come back next year. She said, I'm thinking about coming back for all summer. Well, that as she's gone, I must go on home out of it, I suppose, and see what kind of a state she got made with that spare bedroom. Every night at 10 o'clock faithfully, she'll be going up with her toast and tea, so she's got that bed infested with crumbs now. What did she get done here? Oh, she left her books behind? Romance novels. Sure, what's she doing with them, Dan? What's she looking for tips and tricks? What's this now? Oh, God love her. She got me a kid. Well, isn't that sweet? Merry Christmas. She took one of my unused cards. Give it to me. Oh, my God. Thank you for letting me stay here for three weeks. I really appreciate it. Here's a little something for you I thought you could use. Here's a gift card for a year's worth of cleaning services. Sure, what you think I need different? Oh, who's that? Oh, that's probably her now. Yes, boy! Yeah, you made it run a while, right, did ya? Oh, well, that's good. Listen, I get the car that you left me. Yeah, that's all right then, thank you. But I don't know if you know, I does my own cleaning here, see? Listen, I was thinking about what you said to me about coming back next summer. I don't think a woman of your age should be thinking that far ahead. No, day by day, my darling, day by day. Right? Yes, we'll see what tomorrow brings. All right, then give me a call now when you get back to Newfoundland. All right. I'm going to have to find somewhere to go next summer.